bees on, on the flip side, and those are actually really rare bees. They're called stingless bees, and uh, they produce a very small amount of honey, and it's very, very rare. Is it like a different type of amount, like a really rare honey that's really good tasting or something it's like It's extremely rare. It's, it, they produce maybe like a liter per year, and it, the medicinal value is times 10 than regular honey. It's super expensive. Oh. Yeah, you can only okay. find it in South America. And they are stingless, so they stingless. don't sting. Stingless, they don't sting, no. They're stingless. Okay, you're helping me love God's creation, because honestly, I never like bees, but I don't want them, you know, I want them to be on their own habitat. So. Mm -hmm. <laughs> as long as they're not near me, I'm good. But honestly, no, they're, they're, they're pretty awesome. I think they are. I just, um, I guess the Lord is getting me free from fear of getting stung by a bee. Yeah, they're they're important. We need them for our environment, you know. Um, if you ate a piece of yeah. fruit in the last few days, guess what? A bee helped pollinate it. So. Amen. Yeah. Amen. amen. No, honestly, you don't even realize like how how God works things out, where even the smallest insect is actually helping mm -hmm. everything. Yeah. Like we don't realize it. I know that. Yeah. Um, I still wouldn't cuddle with one though. I wouldn't kiss it. Or that's the only thing. Yeah. No. Definitely not. Um. Yeah. So. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'd like to find out how much it costs to, to host Daniel Adams at a supernatural event. Cost, Man, travel, yeah. everything, you know, if his crew is going to come, you know, how much do I need to set aside from my church in order for him to be able to come host an event for um, a thousand people? Amen. Amen. Okay. And you're a pastor? Yes, that's correct. Okay. Amen. So um, let me go ahead. I, I wanted because I didn't see the the details on the on the meeting. I wanted to make sure you were a pastor, or if you were not a pastor. Yes. Let me pull up the. I have a little PowerPoint over here that's going to help us in this. Okay. Case. Give me. And thank you so much for your patience for being able to reschedule with me. Can't um, stop kids from being sick. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh no. That's something we can't control. And Daniel is now is he, I. I was watching him the other night on the Demon Slayer podcast, which was really awesome, by the way, with him, Signorelli. Um, who else was, he had a whole bunch of people on it. It was really awesome. Yes. Um, is Daniel a prophet, pastor, apostle? What would you call him? Uh, I, I don't know. He hasn't really clarified that. That's, I was hoping. Well, um, Daniel doesn't title himself. He lets other people, like whatever, you know, in the Bible, there's a verse in there that says that people will like recognize the gift, something like that. I'm pretty much saying it on my own mm -hmm. words. So he'll let people, from my, from what I've experienced, I think he's an apostle and he works in the fivefold, but he's definitely an apostle um, okay. slash evangelist, on my opinion. But so he he's an apostle really slash strong. evangelist. Okay. He re works really strong in the prophetic though. Um, okay. So I mean, you can see him working. I've seen him working in every single office. Okay. But I see them. The first one that I always thought of was apostle. That was the first one I always thought of ever since he started, you know, when people barely knew him and all mm -hmm. that. And who was he anointed by, if you don't mind me asking? I'm sure. Um, well, he has, so he used to be, and I have to look up at the name, because he was in a deliverance ministry um, mm -hmm. for like, he was the evangelist for three years, the head evangelist, and he even served the homeless. Um, then after that, he went to Christ for All Nations, and then he started his own ministry after leaving the one that he had originally um, been a part of mm -hmm. and has like accountability basically with uh for example pastor vlad isaiah the demon demon slayers pastor brian jennings um pastor brian ayala uh uh what's the spiritual son of um weissman harry um he, he's here in florida a uh, logan uh frank logan oh okay uh, frank logan um, and what part of Florida is Apostle Daniel from? Yeah, so, well, he's actually from Virginia. Oh, okay. But he moved to Orlando. Okay. Um, probably 2013, I think it was. Okay. I have a timeline. Mm -hmm. um, but right now he's living in Ormond. So he just moved in November to okay. the Daytona area. Okay. So now he's in Daytona. Okay. And, and around that area, yes, yes. That's a nice area. Yeah, no, very, very nice. I've gone there. I love it. Okay. <laughs> I love it. Also, hopefully I'll be moving there soon. I'm here in the Orlando type of mm -hmm. well, Okay, awesome. Great, great. Awesome. Can you see the screen well? Yeah, and what's the name of his church so I can look him up on the IRS too? I want to make sure everything's cool. How do how do I find him on the IRS? Yeah, sure. It's uh, the Supernatural Life LLC. So he is a for, this is a for-profit. 
we do have a um, nonprofit leg of the ministry, and it's called TSNL Global Outreach. But that one, you can find it because it's already approved. But we're literally this year going to start ramping it up. Um, it's going to be used to help the needy, widows, orphans, all that good stuff. So is this, it's Supernatural Life LLC. And what's the other one? What's the yeah. nonprofit? So the for-profit is the Supernatural Life LLC. Okay. And then the nonprofit is the TSNL Global Outreach Foundation, Inc. Global Outreach Foundation, Foundation. Inc. And that's the nonprofit, correct? That's a nonprofit, yes. We're going to, um, once we have so what, set up and... Is the TSNL Global Outreach Foundation Incorporated, is that already set up and everything and that's ready to receive donations? It is actually, yes, it is set up. It is ready to receive donations. Okay. The only thing, I mean, so what we are setting up right now is the website. To okay. have a website. Um, and then we're going to, you're going to start seeing us ramp up like donations for different types of charities, for example, and stuff like that. Okay. Um, but basically, yes, like right now you could send something to Global Outreach and we will be able to receive it. We have ways to receive it. Okay, perfect. And it's, yeah. Okay. Okay, I'm ready for your um, your slideshow. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. And let's pray. So, um, Father God, we just thank you for this meeting. Thank you for this time that we have. Um, I pray, Holy Spirit, that you guide this meeting. Bless this man of God. Bless all his endeavors. Bless his bees, Lord. And just um, bless his family and just grow what he's doing, Father. We thank you for for his heart. And we just pray, come and do what you want to do, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right. Okay. So for churches and ministries, air fair um, at this point, uh, where are you located? Uh, California. California. Which area of California? L.A. Okay. Is that close to the um, Lake Forest area? Yes, correct. Got you. Okay. We're going to be there soon. Okay. Awesome. Perfect. Maybe we can schedule the time around that time. Yeah. We're going to have a... It's not going to be on the website because it's a leadership thing for okay. the TSNL. But um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put that in here in my action item so I don't forget. Okay. So we would need airfare covered um, for three members of the team. It would be Daniel, his wife, Heather, and then the cameraman, Isaiah. Okay. So three that go. Okay. Uh, as far as cost goes for that in specific, it would depend on the time of the year and obviously the airline that we use. Daniel uses multiple, like usually I'm the one um, that does the airline mm -hmm. and then reimburses unless there's like a points that you have or a special relationship with a specific airline then of course we'll be flexible around that okay um we usually use delta he really likes southwest american united um usually go around to see what's the best option and then okay. i can say most of the ones he uses is delta and um delta united southwest are the ones that i mostly book for american so but delta definitely the first one um, now, no minimum amount of guest capacity required, so whatever your church sits is good. No okay. problem there. Um, we would at least uh, require two days of events, uh, worth of events, since he's traveling all the way to the West Coast, and he's in the East Coast. Um, and how much is it per event? Per event? Like, you mean love, like an honorarium? Right. How much does he charge per event? He doesn't charge per event, so all it would either be a love offering, so you could take up an offering during the service. Okay. And, and or you can choose to give him an honorarium, but it would be what the Lord puts on your heart. You would, if you can't communicate that to me before, so I can also communicate with him. But like usually, it's either or. or you don't have to. There's not a specific. Okay. Price on it. Okay. And then um, transportation within the destination, he will need a car rental. Um, I get SUVs usually because even though it's um, three people, he brings his camera equipment, okay. him and the man, so it's kind of a bunch of, of luggage. And then obviously adequate sound system, which you sound like you already have. What's the name of your um, church? It's called JMMI. 
okay. Yep. And then is that how we find it on Facebook or online, like a website? Yes, correct. Facebook. Is it website.org or .com? .org. Okay, Facebook and then website.org. And let me give you my assistance number too. Oh, yes. Yes, okay. please. And, and you can contact her from here on out with any questions you might have. Amen. Her number is 720-570-6647. And then let me also give you an alternate for the office. Okay, give, okay, give me one second. Let me write this down. All right, you got Positive it. Positive personal assistant. And her name's Michelle. I was and, about to ask. Yeah, you can you can call and ask her any questions you want. Okay. And then what's the alternate office number? It's going to be 314. 314. 398. 398. 0637. 0637. Mm -hmm. Amen. And I'm going to put here, contact her from here. Oh. Yeah, you can contact so, her. From here on planning and whatever, I would just be contacting her, correct? Correct, yes. Awesome, awesome. Do you want me to copy you on emails I send her or is it no, just to send it to her? Not necessary. Okay, perfect, perfect. Do not need to copy emails. Awesome. Thank you so much. By the way, I didn't mean to be mean about bees. I like bees. I just, I usually am like, don't touch me. I don't want you to sting me. That's all. Yeah, there's a big stigma behind it. I understand. Everybody's judgmental. No, I feel bad, Pastor. I feel really bad right now. I didn't mean to be mean about bees. Oh, well, it's to be expected. It's all right. Don't worry. I do think they looked, because when I looked at them, they were pretty big. That's why I was kind of surprised. Because I'm like, hmm, that, that looks different. <laughs> all right. Okay, so let's move forward with a PowerPoint. Okay, so if you want any like dining plans, leadership prayer, impartation, any plans extra, we would just um, schedule around that. I can tell you this past um, pastor, now I call him pastor, but um, Apostle Daniel, he's very flexible. He loves kingdom relationship with you. So if he does your event, he's gonna definitely wanna meet you, spend time with you, break bread with you. And he would be more than happy to pray for your team if you want him to. So it's just a matter of planning it out and you know, letting us know beforehand. But other than that, it's good. And he, he's very flexible, very, okay. very flexible. And then um, this is something more for your assistant, but I, I usually, I can make changes to any itinerary just before the trip. That's no problem. My big thing is communication. Let's communicate and make sure we're-, we're So is his wife, does his wife always travel with him? Heather, not, good question. Not all the time. Okay, well, what if you we just wanted him to come? Just him? And the cameraman, yes. Yeah, I can I can ask him. I don't think that'll be an I don't think that would be an issue, but I have to ask. Yeah, him. I think we would prefer if just the pastor and the cameraman come. Because if the wife oh. isn't part of the if she's not a pastor, I'm not I'm not dogging her out. I'm just saying we would much prefer that the pastor and the cameraman come instead. Okay. That's just our preference. Because we've we've yeah. done that in the past and it, it hasn't really worked out for the best. Got you. Yeah. Understood. I'm just speaking from experience here. Yes. Okay. Yep. No problem. No. Nope. Yep. This has nothing to do with him personally. I'm just saying, speaking from experience, no, um, we've we've had those type of situations first, and we've ran into some wives that were less than godly, so to say. Got you. Yeah, okay. and we're not going to okay. pay three thousand dollars to fly somebody out that's going to be really conniving and just horrible. Right. Right. So. Well, I you Heather's not like that but I understand that you know there's experiences you've had so, yes um, I yep. totally get it yep um all right and then here are the payment methods for reimbursement so in case you know I get the for example the airfare we need reimbursement this is what we would use basically okay and and let me check this address real quick too 452 what was that address 452 Osceola Street Suite 216 okay Altamonte Springs, Florida. And is this an apartment? No, it's an office complex. Oh, okay. So like various offices in there that have nothing to do with TSNL. We're suite 216. Okay. Okay. Perfect. And that's where we would send the payments to? 
Um, you can you can choose to correct. Okay, you perfect. Can. And if you when you look in the IRS or if you look at some org, which is like the Florida's Corporation website, um, that's the address you'll find for the Supernatural Life and for the TSNL Global Outreach. Okay. So he doesn't live and there at that that address then. No, no, that's the address I go to work and pick up mail and stuff like that. Oh, okay, that's right. He lives in Daytona Beach. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So um yeah so now basically as as long as we can uh. What we would do to be able to move forward with the event uh, is once. Uh huh. Go ahead. No, go ahead. I'm listening. Oh, sorry. Okay. So as long as you have, and it sounds like you already have the venue, of course, um, lodging for uh, the team coming, transportation, like the car rental we spoke about, a plan for the love offering, transportation while on ground. Now, what if we brought our own car? What if we were the transportation? Would that be okay? Yes, as long as the only thing is, I want to make sure that the Daniel, because some it's happened before where people get stuck sometimes not every church does that but yeah it's been a few where people have given like a driver and then daniel stuck in a place and that's not good so as long as we can have flexibility and okay if he needs to go do something we can have someone pick him up and take him that's fine yeah as long as it's church related we're not going to be going to like disneyland and things like that and going out on these trips and stuff no as long right. as it's church related yeah we're not going to be going to the beach taking these trips to like these nice restaurants or doing any cool stuff at universal studios no it's as long as it's church related yeah, we'll do that, but it's going to be church-related. Of course, of course. Okay, perfect. As long as we're clear on that. No, 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 100%. Okay, perfect. Because okay. I saw he was in Egypt recently riding camels and stuff, and, you know, like, that's cool, I get it, but if he's going to come to our church, it, he's going to do stuff that's church-related, you know? I'm all about yeah. it, but that's how we run a tight ship on our church. No, of course, okay. and... Um about that trip anyway that was a he paid for that for his own this was like a more of a um forerunner fellowship vacation thing it had nothing nobody invited him over there so um well he was he was ultimately promoting the church though too that's the thing i'm just i'm just letting you know i'm just saying we have standards too amen amen yeah. no, that's good and no problem no going to sea world or disney yep. disneyland or whatever nope. it is over there no nope. gotcha all right um and then yeah so after we can ensure all this is is covered um okay. by you 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 can have it then there's a form i'm gonna fill i'm gonna send you um okay send your powerpoint and it's gonna have a link to a form you fill it out and then once you fill it out um i meet back up with you okay. i ask you okay and you the times that you have in mind da, 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 da. i bring it to daniel he prays on it and then we'll we'll take it from there okay um Basically, whether if he does the event, I'll let you know. If he doesn't do the event, I'll let you know. But basically, we'll take it as far as Daniel prays, then we'll take it from there. Okay, so he prays over all the paperwork and stuff. Well, he'll pray on the decision. Like, he'll look at the at the information I'm giving him, but then he'll, he'll pray, obviously, the Holy Spirit. Oh, okay. Go. Okay, yeah. okay. Will he pray in tongues on the Holy Spirit when he prays for this? Um, sometimes I'm not there when he prays. So I'm, okay. He prays on the, in the, I can tell you this. He prays on the Holy Spirit a lot. So okay, awesome, great. Okay. Awesome. Do you have any questions for me? No, ma'am. That's it. That's awesome. it. Awesome. Thank you so much, sir. God bless you. You too. And uh, I'll be sending you an email by. It should be by Wednesday next week. Okay. Hallelujah. And then will that have the form in there that I need to look over and everything? Yes. Okay. Yes. Perfect. I look forward yeah, to perfect. it. Okay. Awesome. All right. God have a good day. You, you too. That's how much it costs for Daniel Adams. So you got to pay for his wife too. Just keep that in mind if you're going to have Daniel Adams at your church. You don't need to be paying for his wife. You should just be paying for Daniel. He's the pastor, right? Why are you paying for three people? The church should have their own cameraman. I would think that you could cut a cost there, you know? Just saying, Daniel. Just saying. <laughs> 